Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Gemini, Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Gemini, this is all about how your person is feeling about you. So if there's a specific person um, you have in mind and you're wondering about um, their feelings, whether or not they um, are truly expressing um, what they're feeling deep down or whether they're deliberately showing you something else, what their overall level of interest is in pursuing a relationship, things like that. This is the reading for you. It is, of course, general. It's not going to resonate with everybody. I'm going to take both of those. It won't resonate with all my lovely Geminis, but if you do enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can check out your other placements as well. One more card here. Gemini, how is your person feeling? How is Gemini's person of interest feeling about them at the moment? Okay. I'll just show you what's at the bottom of the deck there too. We've got the Two of Swords. So it's definitely um, decision-making time for this individual. Um, yeah, they're really contemplating a decision and they feel like they don't have all the information available to them at this time to make that decision. For some of you, they could be really... They're coming across like they're kind of sitting in the on the fence. This could be... Um, another air sign that you're dealing with Gemini, so another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with strong air placement in their chart, um, or potentially an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but we do have a little bit of um, air and earth represented there on their side. They're really coming across like the three of swords. So they're coming across as though they're upset about something. They're disappointed about something. They feel like they've maybe even been betrayed. They could be getting over some kind of heartbreak from the past that they just haven't really been able to shake. And it's obvious to you that they haven't been able to get over that. Alternatively, they may be having the conversation with you about the heartbreak and loss that they've experienced and they don't want to experience that again. And so this person, you know, may be talking about that or wanting to um, bring that up or put that across to you because they don't want to suffer this same thing again. They don't want to have a heartbreak down the line. So this could be something that is very much um, in the current sort of topic of conversation or at least they're making it obvious to you that they're either A, feeling very disappointed and heartbroken broken or um, the reason why they're guarded is because they want to avoid this they want to avoid another heartbreak this person could have trust issues as well this person could have trust issues based on the fact that again in the past they have experienced um, or they have de dealt with someone who has given them a lot of reason to mistrust someone has really um, taken their good nature for granted um and so now this person feels like they have to put a bit of a wall up. You're dealing with someone who definitely has strong defenses, has a wall up against this sort of thing because they have not fully healed or have not fully um, recovered from or gotten over um, the past heartbreak or the past experiences that they've had in their life. Um, so yeah, there are strong, strong um, defenses here from this person. Um, it's interesting how they're looking at you, Gemini. They're seeing you as the world. They're seeing you as their world. They're seeing you as an opportunity to almost be the, the be all, the end all. Um, they're really looking at you as, or they're looking at things from a bigger perspective. And it's interesting because even though they have this wall up, they almost want to, they feel like they could start fresh. They feel like you are someone who they could start fresh 
with we do have you know the two cards wanted to flip here normally i would like just one in the center but we got two and we've got the ace of swords and we're looking at a truthful victorious new beginning and i feel as though they're seeing you as someone who they want to almost have a clean slate with have a clean start with but again it's it's very difficult from for them to let their guard down and make a choice and decide to move forward it's difficult for them they're still in that defensive mode um, this could have something to do with foreign people foreign um, places so um, you may be of a different um, background to them a different cultural background maybe from a different uh, country or you do, grew up in a sort of different way with a different culture that sort of thing so it has that air of a foreign um, kind of thing so they're very interested in that. They like that about you. They like the fact that um, they're exposed to different things, different ways of doing things, different cultures, that kind of thing. Um, they're seeing you as a very significant person in their life because it's almost like the ending of a new of an old chapter um part of me and the beginning of a new one and so whatever happens it's like they're going to look back at this and look back at their meeting with you as something of a bit of a turning point in their life um it's it's a significant enough connection for them to you know for it to be a very memorable uh, chapter in their life if that makes sense you're representing some kind of a turning point I think for some of you this person is almost a bit challenged by you challenged in a good way challenged to maybe reconsider certain assumptions or long-held beliefs that they have had um and that could also be why they're seeing this as some kind of a turning point in their life. But certainly, again, we've got a couple of sevens in this reading and we've got the two of swords. So decision-making time, but they haven't made a decision yet. They haven't come to that, that yet. Their deeper feelings are that um, they're just really sitting back and analyzing the situation. I feel like this is someone who um, you have known for a little bit of time. It's not a completely fresh connection because... They feel as though there is something that they have invested in this connection, whether that be money, whether that be their time, emotions. Um, they feel as though they have worked towards something and they have invested something. But they're also contemplating um, whether it's the right time to have this new beginning or to even have a truthful conversation. For many of you, this person may have not really told you the whole truth about what's going on here the whole truth about what their decision making process is or what's holding them back and what's keeping them a little bit guarded there may be things that they need to speak with you about or they need to ask you it will help them make the decision that they need to make but they're trying to figure out is it the right time to do that? Is it the right time to have this conversation? They want the outcome of it to go well, obviously. They want a victory. They want the conversation to be productive. They want it to lead to something that is going to feel good. They want to feel a sense of relief. They want to let go of burdens. They want to feel that I got just got the word vindicated. I don't know why, but again, maybe there's something that this person feels like was a bit of an injustice that was done to them in the past and they need to feel like they need to break free of that. Whatever the case is, they want to have this conversation. They're just wondering what the right time is. This is someone who, again, high priestess energy, um, it's they're up in their head a lot. They're not necessarily communicating at the time, at, at the current time. So I think they've told you enough or you've understood enough about them that you know their guard's up, 
you know they're trying to decide something, you know they're trying to sort of mentally wrestle with something in their mind, but you don't really have all the answers yet as to what that might be. Um, But they want to tell you. They want to tell you. They're just kind of worried because they're still not sure about what the outcome of that conversation is going to be. Is it going to be good? How is it going to go down Um, with Gemini? Is Gemini just going to completely uh, decide to drop this or move on? Like, you know, they're worried about that. Um, This is an interesting one as we've got the seven of wands as well. Um, But it's like in a position of where they feel comfortable and... This is all about staying very, very strong in your beliefs, being very defensive. But it is also a card of internal energy and internal decision-making process. Um, It's like standing up for your beliefs and being defensive, but you you haven't really looked outward or looked to other people yet. Um to gain a new perspective and help get rid of this defensive energy. So they've still got a wall up, but they almost, I feel like they appreciate Gemini more than you know. They appreciate the fact that you've allowed them space to do this. You haven't been forceful. You haven't tried to, um, break that wall down you've given them the sort of the time and the space to come to you when they're ready maybe some of you are getting fed up with that I don't know but certainly this person is happy about the fact and is very appreciative of the fact that you've allowed them to have this wall up and that you're still showing some interest in talking to them in getting to know what's going on. They they like that. They like that. Um, there is sometimes, or there can sometimes be very, I feel, um, blunt, direct conversations between the both of you. And I do think that this person worries that you may just decide to completely cut them out. You may decide to take on this sort of, um, queen of swords energy and you know not take any crap anymore and just just completely cut the ties cut the cord get this person out of your life um so they're worried about that they know that you have the power to do that you have the power to move on from them and you're very strong and that that does worry them a little bit that that does worry them they almost um I mean, they haven't done much to fully let you in yet, clearly, but they don't want you to give up on them just yet. They don't, and they certainly, um, they don't want to be forced into making any sort of decision, which I'm not saying you've made them do, but they're worried that it's going to come down to that. They're worried that it's just going to reach a point where you've had enough and you just decide enough is enough and cut this person out. Or they're worried that you may say something to them. You, um, you may pass a judgment on them um, and they're just worried about how that's going to go down. Maybe when they have this conversation with you or, they, or this truth sort of gets exposed um, from them, they're just not sure about um, how it's going to go down. Um, this person is feeling like They have nostalgia for some reason. This person feels as though they want things to go back to a more innocent kind of time. They have happy memories of you and of this connection. Um, They're thinking about that. They're reminiscing about that. They actually don't want any any of this drama. They want things to just be a bit simpler, a little bit more, I don't want to say naive, but just they don't want to think about this this baggage they they just want to have happy memories they just want happy memories and because this is reconciliation energy um gemini could be someone that you did have something with in the past and they do want that back 
um, because they're thinking very, very fondly of the time that you two have shared together. There could be children involved as well. Sometimes that does happen um, with Six of Cups energy. So you may have children with this person um, or there may be some sort of children um, around or in um, your life or in their life. And that's that actually brings them a lot of joy and happiness. But it's weighing it's weighing very very um very heavily on their mind and um they're wanting things to get back to that sort of simpler kind of time if that makes sense. All right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed that reading. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video.